Excellent. I mean, excellent. Uh, okay, I know where we are. That's a that's a start. It's looking a bit blue. Sit down, Alan. It's blue. I think we might be in a cold event. I don't know. Maybe it's just bluer than I remember. It's not a bug. It's just blue. Uh, Mofo, thank you for the seven months. Thank you for the follows, my sonis. Uh, T Healer, uh, Smofies, thank you for the follows. Did I touch my fingertips together? No, I was too busy holding my. I mean, holding the mouse. Otherwise, I definitely would have done. Is that an event? I just heard rumble. I died on the the long running character. Yeah, the the, the long running character. He lived twelve hours and then died. And I died to an extraordinarily good player that played extraordinarily well, you know. I died facing the enemy, taking shots, and he made some crackers. So, shit happens, you know. A metal militia, Namask has cold events, so it's, ex it's extra cold when it goes blue. That might be what's happening. There is an event on at the moment as well. A bit, a bit like DFS, there's always a fucking event on Namask though, right? Oh, God. That is annoying. Yeah, we just switched to the mouse too, Bear. I died on Chernerus uh, to a good player. God, I don't really know. I feel like he shot me with something like a Mosin from further away. And the gun from closer was something like an SKS or maybe similar. But I don't really know. I could probably work it out if I went back and watched it. But it's a moot point. He shot me with something that definitely killed me. The Winter Chernera zombies are a mod. Holy fuck, what a find that is. Thank you very much. The Winter Chern the, the Winter Zombies are a mod, Ronator. They're, they're like this server doesn't have them. Because no Sumrak didn't do them. Oh my fuck. Fucking hell! Streamer loot! Fucking what? <laughs> that is mad. Probably don't need all of these, but I'm going to take them for now. Just because they're good at making fires, and while I've got several, I can just leave them. I don't need to carry extra ones. We're going to be yellow health fairly sharpish. I probably do need to make a fire. This this is doing fuck all like normal. Yeah, the storm's quite close to happening, actually. I need to get to the town quick. Just quickly come into this little shed. Here. Oh fuck! I don't know. I don't think the shed helps, but it's going to be. I have to be able to use. This might work. It's got a door. I think it probably does work. If not, we're going to be red health. Came here for gloves, and lo and behold, there's gloves. So now we can't actually get frostbite. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. That's very kind. Cheers for the support. Thank you for remembering you've got Prime and for picking me to use it on. And the danger. Thank you for the 60 months. Uh, been a while. Sorry to hear about you, Dad. I have skits myself. Uh, keep on running. Thank you for so much for all the vids. And, uh, you, uh, uh, you are the Daisy God. Oh, thank you, Danger. I hope things keep going well for you, dude. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you for the resub.
Recidivist says a poem, Finding words, Worms in Namalsk. A daisy limbing. In Namalsk, you will see players squirm on the floor of a house like a worm. Why do they act so? The answer I know, they're surviving an EVI storm. Close. So close. It's not bad. It's not bad. Storm and worm. I guess the way I say them, they don't worm, storm. I'd have to say worm, sturm. <laughs> Tosspot, thanks for coming in and making me say Tosspot as well. Can I shut the door? Oh, I shut the door. Well, that's not very nice. Well, you opened my door. It got very fucking chilly. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so I'm actually very fucking chilly. I need to get a fucking... I'll help you with that. <gasps> sorry, I just need your heat pack, okay? Someone said they wanted me to be evil. Your wish is my command. <laughs> He's not lost anything. He can spawn back to the left there in about three seconds. How unlucky was that dude, though? He got to the fucking shed. So he was coming in. I didn't even see him open the door. When we went unconscious, the door was still closed. I'm pretty sure it was. So that dude managed to get to the door and open it as he went unconscious. How unlucky is that? <laughs> Holy fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, the, the last Scythian. Uh, yeah, I, I, it was. I will, uh, I will give myself 20 lashes later. Uh, Spider2k, thank you for the gifted sub. That's really, really kind. Thank you. Angry Chair, thank you for the bits. Uh, Danger, thank you so much for the bits as well. Viking Sanit, uh, definitely the right name there. Cheers for gifting Sid, the poet, the sub. That's really kind. Essia Bubs, thank you for the 11 months. Cheers for the support, guys. You're insane. Thank you very, very, very much. My five-year-old says you're mean. Uh, don't talk ill of other... Other people, or you'll get less for Christmas. <laughs> That's what'll happen. <laughs> the elves are watching. They're in the picture frame on the wall right now. Who's ready to spam karma? Everybody. Everybody. I agree, get schnocked, but that's not my call. Elf is on the shelf. Ooh, that sounds like uh, some kids' TV show, like what, like Paw Patrol or something. It could get kind of fucking words. No, I don't know what I'm saying. I know what I mean. And uh, no worries, the spam of karma is already copied. Very good. I can see it. We're doing all right, though. I am a bit cold. I'm light blue. But because we've got the heat pack from the dude and we've now got all the clothingings, we're actually in a pretty solid way with regards to... Uh, even more so now. Frostbite, you know. We're not, we can't get frostbite unless we get wet. And that's really good. It does feel a bit more blue than it normally does today, doesn't it? I don't know what's going on. It's blue. Dabba dee dabba da. Uh, it might still be a cold event, but I don't know. I'm not cold enough. It doesn't look quite the same kind of blue either. It doesn't really matter. It's just blue. Maybe it's just because I've not played the mouse for a while, but there seems to be very little colour in the map. It doesn't look quite how it normally does. I don't think I'm bugged either. I just think it's the way it is. Maybe it's the time of the day or whatever. I don't know. Here we go with the damn rags. You need a lot of rags on the mouse. You really do. Like, those rags are for starting fires. These rags are for bandaging and inning. But I need them. I definitely need them, dude. And if you think I don't, you're wrong. <laughs> you need a seriously large amount of rags for Namalsk. It's just a fact. You do. You do. You do. Subway tuna fish. I think I'd rather deep throat an alive tuna than eat Subway. 
I'm not a food snob. I just think Subway is a fucking ripoff. If they start sponsoring streamers, though. <laughs> Hi, Subway! I, I, to be fair, I don't know if they do a gluten-free man's roll. Do they? Do they? I don't care. I'm not going to buy one anyway. No sp Subway sponsorship for me. I'm sure they're desperately upset about that, but I don't want it. In your town where you live, where there's a Subway, there will also be a little independent place that makes sandwiches. And those sandwiches will be two or three quid. They'll be like three quid for a baguette or something, maybe three pound thirty. And you'll get like a 12 inch baguette and it'll be made by uh, like a little family that runs the sandwich shop. And it'll taste better than Subway and it'll be nearly half the price. Go there! Don't go to Subway! Fuck Subway! <laughs> uh, go to the independent place that's nicer. There's always one in the same town. Famous, maybe I should get Subway to measure my penis. <laughs> they say tw they say 12 inch footlongs, but they're actually 9 inches long was the point. But yeah, maybe I could... Uh, maybe I could use their measuring stick. To be fair, to each their own, if you like Subway, get it, you know. If you like a meatball dealy, then get a meatball dealy, you know. I'm, I'm, who am I to judge? I don't really give a shit, but... Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd rather use the independent place. To be fair, I get nothing, do I? I can't. Poor, poor dude at my local, my town nearest to me. I was one of his best customers. I was in there two or three times a week buying a baguette and a scotch egg, homemade scotch egg. But ever since the uh, the gluten free discovery, that's it. He's lost me forever. The poor bastard. I was one of his best customers. Is it so blue today? Subway is the second biggest fast food restaurant chain. Well, that's a sad indictment of everything ever. What's the 540 part of chat? It's not really anything. I just I couldn't think of a title. It's related to the Twitch leak. Subway was bigger than McDonald's at one time, was it? Holy shit. I don't know. I mean, to each their own. Clearly they're doing well. Six pound sandwiches is clearly... I'm, I'm going to start my own shop. You can get a 13 inch long. Six pounds. I'll also give you some watered down Coke and a bag of crisps as well if you want. You can feel like you've got a good deal. I, I don't have gluten envy of, of Subway. I'm a bit gutted that I can't go to my little sandwich shop. I, I have scotch egg envy. I don't have uh, a homemade scotch egg from my little my little shop I used to go to. I miss that. It, they were fucking glorious. Even now, thinking about that scotch egg, I'm starting to salivate. But scotch, scotch eggs, they're coated in fucking breadcrumbs, right? I can't have one. The, the man from the, the, the scotch egg shop, he, he says, no, no, no. No sketch eggs for you. Which sucks! It fucking sucks! Uh, I, yeah. That I have envy about, not the fucking subway stuff. I didn't like that when I could eat it. I'd have to go there for like, if I was in a place I didn't know where I was and I didn't know there was anything else. And I'd lost my phone or my sense of direction. Spider, yeah, but the, the little place that sells the the... the things doesn't sell them that's the point right you know just because you can you can get gluten-free bread it doesn't mean the guy is going to change his entire menu in case i buy it come in and buy one does it you know interesting uncle food that's mad i didn't know that absolute unit dude thank you for the bits i'll catch the message in a sec a busload of orphans thank you for the prime sub 
Pantera, thank you for the 35 months. Spider, thank you for the gifted sub once again. Angry Chair, cheers for the bits. Uh, Danger before that. Uh, Gilman as well. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. I really, really appreciate it. Cheers for using your Prime sub along with Busload. Uh, cheers for using your Primes, remembering you've got it to use. Uh, Absolute Unit. Thank you for being a positive role model. This sounds like it's going to inflate my ego. Okay, let's be careful. <laughs> for your authenticity and for sharing with your community your journey through life. And also, thank you for being a kind advocate for those with mental illness. Being a part of this community with you at, at the helm is heartwarming. Oh, thank you very much, heartwarming. All right. Thank you very much, Absolute Unit. I don't feel too inflated. Thank you for being very kind. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, Pewston, I don't think it goes away once you've got it. I, it's possible if I completely cut it out for several years. I don't have celiac disease, so it's possible. There's some kind of weird glitch with this, where the, well, the flames are this side, but they look... Anyway. Yeah, it is possible, but it's unlikely to happen. I need to defrost my food, actually. Uh, Nagu, well it would, but it's it's still it's still happening, you know. Never mind independent restaurants that sell sandwiches made of bread, you know. Their their living is bread, you know. Like if you go to a, if you go to a shop and want to buy a tin of soup, nearly every can of Heinz soup has gluten in it, you know, because they use flour to thicken the soup. They could use corn flour, but they don't. They use they use wheat flour. Every can of Heinz soup would be incredibly easy to make gluten free, and they don't. Maybe about 5% more people would buy them, you know, but they don't because it's cheaper to use the cheaper option, you know. Gluten-free stuff costs more money, and if you're a business, you want to save money, they don't do it, you know. Doesn't always work that way. Whether they'd get more money by selling to more people or not, probably they would, you know. F to fix the vest is a good shout. Yeah, gluten-free bread is fucking diabolical. Have you ever had a Wagyu steak? Uh, trap, I had... Me and the missus went to York for a few days, and I had a Wagyu steak, but it was one that was from Britain. It wasn't properly flown in from Japan. It wasn't like a Wagyu steak from... It was one from the UK. I've only ever had it once. It was the best steak I've ever had. I think it was about £35 or something like that. For the, for the meal, including the steak. 35 maybe 40 something like that. It was a lot of money. More than I'd like to spend on a meal on a regular basis. But I wanted... It was my birthday. We went to York around my birthday. So it was like my kind of birthday treat, if you like. War faces. Well, they, they don't nearly... You, you're probably right, but... They, they don't have to advertise it as gluten-free, by the way. That's not how it works. You don't have to advertise it as some kind of health food. You just take gluten out of it, and on the back in the ingredients, you don't have to put wheat in as a... That wouldn't happen, you know? You don't have to put on the can, gluten-free, incredible, vegan-friendly, whatever, you know? You just take the wheat out and change it for corn flour, and then in the back in the ingredients, you don't have to say it's got gluten, do you? That, 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 that doesn't change the way that it sells. Sorry, it doesn't. Uh... Gilf, yeah, if it's flown in from Japan, yeah, it should be. You're right. But the idea, I've, maybe I'm wrong, by the way, but the idea that you're going to pay £100 to have a piece of steak flown over from Japan, to it just makes me feel a bit funny. I don't want to eat steak from Japan, you know. <laughs> I, I think that that's kind of stupid. I, I think uh, it's a particular, like, type of cattle that has a particular graining of fat. And a, you can you can have that breed of cattle and... and why is it so blue? Anyway, yeah, you, you can do it without having to fly it in from Japan. It is an experience, but is it really, you know, could you not just, like, breed the cows here and, like, have the same meat? I'm pretty sure you can. I guess it's a little bit like champagne, you know, like, like, but there's also Prosecco and Cava and sparkling wine and all sorts, you know, it, you can get an amazing bottle of wine, it doesn't have to be from champagne, does it, you know, I guess it's, does it really make any difference, I don't know, maybe it does to waggy, waggy beef knobs, but I ain't a waggy beef knob, I liked the one I had, it was really good, but it certainly wasn't £100. 
Part of me. You alright? What, no melee for you? I got a melee. Melee. I need to cut him, really. Thanks for the food, dude. wasn't one for talking. Yeah, well, it's a weird thing, right? But knives are normally better than uh, better than melees in that scenario because every slash normally cuts them, and even if they start staggering you, you can you can normally do them. It like just run away a little bit, and you'll be okay. So, yeah, and that kind of worked. Guess we could fix the peak, I suppose. What shoes did he have? I've got decent shoes, or was that just a reference to the ghillie suit on the coast? Video, it might be. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, that's the thing, Uncle Food. Once he's bleeding, he's kind of fooked. And he has hand delivered us some Mosin rounds as well. What a nice guy. Yeah, he did get some decent decent punches in, but as long as you get your stamina back. I got his belt, by the way. Someone's saying he had a belt with or whatever. I did get it. Sykerna, well, yeah. It, it, it's actually... I, my understanding was, and I, re I really don't care. I don't have Google right at my hands right now, but if it's sold... Thank you. Thank you very much, by the way. Thank, thank you. Uh, if it's sold in the UK, UK as Wagyu, Wagyu beef, it's normally to do with the graining of the fat and the type of meat that it is. And if you pay like three times as much, it might be from Japan. The one I bought was for, it was clearly advertised as Wagyu beef, but from a British supplier. You know that it wasn't hidden; it was on the menu. A press vest, if you get shot in the chest, you won't die. You would go unconscious if you're full health. Uh, I'm probably sort of erring towards the Mosin over the blaze at the moment, Famous Delta, where they've nerfed the blaze that little bit. Which is a shame. Jake, they weakened it a little bit. It's single shot power is nowhere near as good as... Well, in theory, it's only a touch behind the Tundra and the Mosin, but in practice, it feels like massively different. A shot with the Mosin knocks somebody unconscious. The same shot with the Blaze does not, and that's a big deal. Uh, so, if you use the double shot on the Blaze, that's still really powerful if you if you want to use the double shot. Uh, but the, the single shot of the Tundra and the and the, the Mosin is more powerful, and you can use the bottle suppressors as well. There's some real big benefits to sticking with the uh, thingy. Daisy Dad, thank you. Well, I hope, I hope all is well. hope everything's all right with your daughter. <laughs> Cheers for coming in. 
Yeah, it, kind of, it makes me a bit sad that I'm more inclined to go for a, those two over the blaze. It is a bit of a shame, to be honest, but... When am I going to shoot someone? Well, I literally only just got bullets from the guy I killed with a knife, Green Man. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's just not that kind of game, dude. Uh, it, it's not that. And I, I don't mean that in a demeaning way, but, you know, if you want to see shots, watch Tarkov or something. I might not shoot someone for three hours, you know. You could go and get your, your gun fixed, go and watch CSGO for half an hour, come back, and I'll still be running around in the countryside somewhere, you know. It's it's a very slow paced game in comparison, and I've I've only just got a gun with bullets just now, and a, and a guy that was trying to kill me by fisting me, you know, I I couldn't shoot him, I didn't have a gun, but I did stab him to death, dude, you know. Guns for show, knives for a pro. I did I did stab a dude like literally thirty seconds ago or whatever it was. Hi Blake, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Blake mate, thanks for coming in dude. My missus has just brought me some chimkin sandwich uh, pitta breads. We're back on pitta today. Chimkin sandwich pitta. Obviously gluten, gluten free before anyone wonders, okay? There you go, look, that one was for you, okay? That one was for you. That's when I'm going to shoot someone, right now. Tell you what, this. He may not be dead. These are bulletproof, so you can't actually shoot through them. I think he's probably dead. I think we'd best run for that. If he's not dead, that'll be uh, that'll be me dying right now, but unfortunately. But still haven't had a bite of my pitta bread yet. He could have friends there, but they'd probably be trying to shoot me or not. I don't know, but we'll find out. And if we die, we die. But if I kill someone that tries to kill me and they've got a gun, I want to go and loot them. Somebody. Oh. Might be the zombie, I can't really tell. It sounds like a player. Can you hear me? Are you Hello? Friendly? Are you friendly? Yeah, where are you? Hello? 
I'm up there. Yeah, I just came. Come up. Well, you're at the toppy top. Are you friendly? Yeah. No, I'm below you. All right. Yeah, I'm friendly. I think I'm below you anyway. I was just trying to get my gear. I got shot up. When? Just now. I was just trying to get my gear. That's it. Hey, shoot. Come on, bro. I let him run. Right? It's my gear now, dude. As if I'm not the guy that you just shot at. Fucking idiot. What did he think I was going to... Oh, yeah, come and get back your gear and shoot at me again by all means. Fuck off. See if anyone's gonna do that. Do you not think the guy that just killed you isn't gonna come back and loot you? Fuck me. <laughs> what the? That was hopeful at best. He was obviously gonna try and punch me out if I let him up. <laughs> I've never had anything so stupid ever. <laughs> Fair play though, I suppose. I guess he tried, you know, like bonus points for the try. <laughs> I think we'll leave the scopes. We don't need the scopes. That was a hell of an attempt to try and kill me with the... Uh, with the BK. That would have been a good shot, wouldn't it? That's the thing. You can get back to the building pretty quick. Somebody's shooting from another roof. It was to the right. I think it was one of these three stories. I don't think it was that one. I think it was this one over here. believe how optimistic that was. Right. Uh. Oh, I can actually make it in the fire barrel. I get matches off the dude. I probably should leave, to be honest. I should leave, but I'm going to get thirsty very soon, and I kind of want to, uh, kind of want to just warm up and drink the drinks that I've got. Posse, well, the guy that I just killed, uh, I, he shot at me and was seemingly angry that I was up here trying to loot his own body after he tried to kill me. So, yeah. I don't know. He wasn't angry, but I think he was seemed surprised that I might not let him come and get his gear back when he shot at me in the first place, you know. But anyway. Starting to collect collect quite some rags. I understand he had better trousers. We'll worry about getting those in a minute. Uh, 
as well, I suppose. About 100 degrees, let's use that as a heat pack then. Browser's over. Still trying to eat my, uh, eat my dinner as well. That guy could be back here really quite quickly. Uh, trade his axe for my crowbar. Could do. Oh, yeah. I don't think I need any hooks. Mm. Sorry guys, I'm right in the middle of ramming my, my chimpkin sausages down my... surely. I don't know that was him, but it, one of them had a very, very similar sounding voice. There was, a, there was a zombie downstairs, but the guy in the house was clearly talking at someone else, so somebody else must be there. I killed the dead dude on the other roof. I think one of them was him. That's going to be the guy. That's the problem with being in Vokuta. You think everybody is the guy. Right, I don't want to be stuck up here. It's time to go. Oh, 
Oh, well, I, uh... Oh, he's gone down! He hasn't looted it. It's not the guy. Maybe it is the guy. Who knows? Everybody's the guy, okay? It's always the same guy running back, every time. Oh, fuck. I had my hand on a sausage. I've got ketchup on my fingers. <laughs> now I've got ketchup on my fucking key. Right, let's go. No, oh, he's dead. He's not got a leg broke. He's he, maybe like breaking his leg would be funnier, but right. The mic is still further away, by the way, peeps. I'm trying to I'm trying to eat, but uh, these bastards keep coming. Moral of the story, don't eat the PC. I have no choice. Full-time streamer is full-time. <laughs> Moral of the story is don't clean your keyboard and then wonder what all that goo is one day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Drop me unconscious, please. Fucking hell. It wouldn't let me do the melee. I couldn't melee with the shotgun, so we were, we were done for. We should be all right, but someone else comes along, I'm fucked. This is where we say karma, yeah. Some new spawn will come along and start looting me in about three seconds. The karma this time, LJ, is because I made a mention of it earlier, so they're doing it as a joke. Uh, I actually much prefer it now, low level. I really don't agree. I, and I got glitched there. I, if I'd have been killed in that scenario, it wouldn't have been fun. I couldn't do anything. There's meant to be an ability to melee with, with, a, with a gun, and it wouldn't let me do it. I was glitched. I couldn't do it. I was stuck in a corner, and I'm about to get stuck in the same corner again if I'm not careful. That wouldn't have been a, a worthwhile thing in this scenario. I'd have been killed by a bug, you know? That would be shit, in my view. I, I couldn't melee. It wouldn't let me do it. I was being blocked. I'm in the right building. Zombies killing you. It's much more fun to wake up and have the threat of the zombies and try and deal with them and whatnot than it is for them to just pound you to death. Like, when you can't actually counter. Especially if you're just stuck in a corner, unable to defend yourself until you die. Like, stun-locked. Num num num. Boom, how you doing? We are on uh, Namowsk. I died on Chernoris earlier. Had a very good run though. It's okay if you want the zombies to kill you, by the way. I don't really mind. You can have a differing point of view, but I'm so pleased they changed it. Heat packs are better to be in your shirt and your trousers. The biggest two impacts are your trousers and your top. You'll say you prefer it now, low level, okay, I misread it. All good though, dude. 
either way, I ain't falling out. It's all good. Sorry, guys. I'm still trying to eat the last little bit of my uh, dinner. Num, num, num. Ali Moss, thank you for the gifted sub to Vassi. Exquisite, thank you for the four months. That's really kind. I shouldn't be doing this. This is what's going to get me killed. not be dead. He had a press vest on. Or he had a stab vest. I'm so bad at spotting the death animations, Nutty. I, can, I never get them right. I just don't see them. It looked, it was a solid hit in the upper body, so it probably was a kill, but I'm never 100% confident. I thought I had an epinephrine, but I don't. Ish thinks I'm con, everyone else thinks not. We'll find out, I guess. going to go straight to the body. We'll just come up here for now. Oh, for fuck's sake. What the fuck happened there? That was crazy. It's a, it seems a little bit ironic, this, don't you think? A little too ironic. And I, I definitely really do think. Like, that... The dude said, when are you going to shoot someone? Like, seconds after I found my first bullets for a gun. And ever since then, I've done nothing but shoot people. <laughs> that never happens. That never happens. I am kind of bugged now. Oh, it's working again. He's dead. You can just see the top of his thing there, look. And the boss. I'm not sure. There's no rain or wedding day right now. Never trust Amish sets 99%. Mr. 99 percenter. <laughs> right. We know which one it is. There's going to be a shitload of zombies. Let's do it. Will I loot him? I shouldn't do. But that doesn't mean I won't. Hello? Badly damaged. This could go badly wrong, actually. This is the guy from before, I think. Uh. 
Hello? Is anyone there? I'm not in there. I should just be aiming down the stairs. You probably heard me open the door. Hello? Uh, is anyone here? Pretty sure I just heard you open a door or you've done your thing. I, I don't know. It's time to start hmm. okay. You can't have your gear back now, fuck off. Whoa, this. Me. Is this the same guy who killed me? Yeah. The the one the well, one who you shot at and then expected them to let you I have never your gear shot back. Anybody. Yeah, of course you didn't. It's funny because I shot at I you after shot you shot at, at me. You're full of shit, dude. I never shot at anybody. I literally never shot at anybody, I swear. You had an IZH rifle that you'd fired. No, that was my friend's win. And he Bollocks. died. Bollocks. I'm not lying. Okay. Come on, man. That doesn't have to go down like this. No, I'm it doesn't. Shoot, like, I have no idea what you mean. Okay. Well, how, how about how about I put my hand on my head? You know? Yeah, and do it. And, and then rub your tummy it. at the same time. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Well, I'm almost fucking dead. Really. Enjoy the scope. I just get my gear back and then he's trying to pretend like it's his buddies. Like, how can you possibly say you didn't shoot at somebody when you blatantly did? Like, I don't get it. He must be believing his own lies in a seriously big way, right? I hope there's nobody up here, but this is where we killed the guy. I think he had a carbine. That's the trouble. We've had a bit of a waste of time here, and this guy could be back, like you say. We'll see. I'd like to fix this sawn off, or probably we need to get rid of it, one or the other, but... He's not on the roof. He'd somehow gone past me. I don't know what happened there. He was in one of the rooms and I just went down the stairs. And he let me past. So now he's probably on the roof looting. Uh, Suds, DD, I'm back. Thank you for the resub. That's really kind, dude. Thank you. I hope there's no one here. Looks like he's been looted. Oh, fuck. You ain't having a good day, are you, son? He'd only just got the gun back. I'm surprised the Mosin killed him, to be honest. sorts of weird and wonderful shit. I 
I did get a box of shotgun shells. I, although we're doing okay with the r the slugs, to be fair, but I ought to try and load the the right bullets in, really. That came from here somewhere. I think we should go. We've died. We've had such a good run in Vokuta. It's been great, but. You gotta know when to roll them, roll them, and know when to fold them. I think it's time to fold them. Are you in an OFT? Yeah, I think that's a good shout. That shot sounded like it came from here. It could have come from one of these. So he was in that building. He's probably gone to the roof. Don't walk away, run. Yeah, I never looted that guy over there, but I don't think he had much. It was such a bad story, though. Yeah, that was my mate. First time I came, I was saying it was my loot, but now I'm saying it's my mate, because that makes a better lie. Fuck me. <sighs> right. Okay. Uh, yes. No. No. Why he was actually up on the roof though, he didn't have anything, did he? Right, I know I'm behind massively on alerts, so I will catch up. Head T ball, thank you very, very much for the support, dude. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna get rid of those. In fact, I don't know. I don't know if we are. Let's let's keep them. One thing I and I did alright, I'm doing okay with this shotgun, right? But the sawn off, the uh, the spread is fucking massive with the buckshot. Part of me thinks perhaps we might be better off using the the green ones for now. Let's go. This is where you're best. What mercilessly killing everyone? Right, what are my gloves like? They've got ruined pretty quick, haven't they? Half and half it. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Need a weapon cleaning kit. Okay, what about that? That's worn. What's mine? Badly damaged. Okay, no brainer. I don't think I've ever got quite so geared quite so quickly in Vokuta before, with, with so many kills. Against, more often than not, by and large, mostly people what deserved it as well. Right, let's go. Not that way. I think we've got to try and go for an outpost, you know. I think that's probably the, the long-term aim. Outpost to clock. We need to get some MVGs. If we're going to get, like, a... A trip to... Athena 3 in the bag or something like that. We need some MVGs. What a fucking epic start that was. Very cool. Watch me get killed immediately now, but... Alright. I probably could have got a... a Compass, actually. I, I don't normally pick them up, but it might have made sense on this map. I think this way will do for now. 
I'm going to go towards the west, which I'm pretty sure we're doing right now. We'll head towards the west, try and get towards uh, where we can head to the outpost. It'd be nice to get some matches, but I've got quite a few fire lighters anyway. We can do it with just the road flares if needs be. It should be fine. But I'm doing really well. We're having a great run. Got quite a lot of kills on the mouse. Uh, killed the same dude at least twice, maybe more. I don't know. I feel like I maybe got him on the uh, on the other building as well. One corpse had matches. Yes, that sucks. I, I don't think like looting every single individual thing is exactly my strong point right now, but I'm permanently thinking about the next fucker, you know. There was a lot of fuckers around. Meet the fuckers, 101. Uh, and, and I was kind of worried about getting stuck on that apartment roof, and it nearly happened when I went back. I went back to check that the guy on the other roof with the carbine was dead, and that nearly did for me, you know. If, if that guy had got like a sledgehammer and got in the room with me, he'd have been favourite, and thankfully... We avoided that happening, you know, that's kind of cool. Yeah, Dubs, I'm terrible at organising my inventory, but I don't really care. As long as I've got meds that I can bandage with, and any any other kind of meds I'm likely to need on the left edge of my, my inventory, the rest is irrelevant. I don't really care. Cheers, Dave. Take it easy. I've never really had... He really believed like he was... We talked about this earlier, about people that say lies, but he, the lies he was telling, he sounded like he believed them, you know? Right? Like, people just believe their own bullshit, you know? It's like a skill. I don't think I have it. When I'm saying a lie, I'm saying it in a way that makes it obvious that I'm lying. I can't help it. I just can't help it. But that dude actually believed every fucking thing coming out of his mouth, as far as I'm concerned. Going to walk the dock. Zero Kelvin, have a good one, dude. <clears throat> I just inhaled the last little bit of chimkin then by the sound by the feel of it. Right, let me try and catch up with the alerts that I've been missing. Neb, thank you very much for the bits. Is own, thank you for the twenty nine months. <coughs> Sorry guys, I've got a bit of a bit of my, my my last bit of dinner stuck in the back of my fucking throat. That's marvellous. Anyway. Head T Ball, thank you for the bits. Suds DD, I'm back. Thank you for the resub. Agent Two Scoop, thank you for the 11 months. Ali Moss, thank you for the gifted sub. Exquisite, thank you for the Happy November uh, resub. Happy November to you. Remember, remember the second of November, right? Thank you for the support, dude. Green Man, thanks for the three. Cheers for the. Here you go. Thank you. All right, Frankie, thank you for the host. Stormy Donald, thank you for the 23. Lucky Demon, thank you for the six. Hey, how you doing as well? Thank you. Steal it with Chris. Uh, second time watching you live. Love the video. Steal it. See it with Chris. Thanks a lot. Really, really appreciate it. This has got the makings of an unedited, like, Twitch VOD for Namaus. This has. An insane Vokuta run. Unedited. Go. You know, it could just... Literally found the Mosin, got into the town, all of that. It could be a really good little unedited thing. There is the off chance that I won't be able to edit this week, and I don't want that to be the case, but... My edit day this week is Friday, but I've got to go and take my dad to have scans and x-rays, and that could take hours, I just don't know. I need it cutting up smaller now, I'm getting older, yeah. And someone to feed it, whilst making aeroplane noises, preferably, as well. It's been insane, what a, what a cool run, so far. Like, who knows what'll happen next, but... If this does make it to YouTube, hello, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Sorry, I'm desperate. <laughs> Someone on Twitch told me the other day that my views don't equate to the amount of subs that I've got and I'm not getting enough subs, so stop watching every video, okay? That's not right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is a cool find. It's actually a cool thing, but different channels are different, but I get a lot of my views from returning viewers, like subscribers, like I'm, I'm really lucky to have that, you know, people watching my videos when I release them, I'm really lucky to have that. Uh, but I've tried to work at it in terms of making regular releases, so I always show in the YouTube algorithm, I try to release uh, a video every week on a Sunday. And so people want to see it every video, see a video every week on a Sunday. It does mean some are unedited, I suppose, but only where I don't have the time to edit as a rule. 
inhumane. Uh, excuse me. Uh, why do I switch sometimes to backpacks with less space? Because the amount of space it has is not the, the, the only thing that's important. The profile of it on the back is really important. That backpack on this particular server is quite good because it's best insulation, whereas this is only high. But big red backpacks or big green backpacks are very big and very bright and they get you seen and they get you killed. Uh, when you've been playing a game a while, I am an absolute loot whore. I, there's nothing I love more than carrying loot that I don't need in case I might need it one day, right? I carry way more shit than I should. But I still don't take the biggest backpack in the game. I take the one that makes the most sense not to get killed. There is that as well, Dark Helmet. I haven't even got to that. But I'm playing first person. If someone starts running at me from behind, I can look behind and see you right now. I can press Alt, hold Alt, and look around. Free look and see. That big red backpack, when you look back, all you see is a big red backpack. That's not good. So there's a few different reasons, and they're all, like... They're all very good reasons not to take that stupidly big one. Unless you're really desperate. Twitch chat foreshadowing epic killing spree. I like it. Not exactly sure. Oh, I know where I am. It's okay. We're, we're going around the estuary on the way to the town. We're on the white way. I, I came a little bit more north than west than I meant to, but it's all good. I think this is the best bag in the game for me personally, and it's the old school bag as well. There once was a time where there was nothing but taloons and hunter bags, and the hunter bag was like the geared guy bag. It, you were, if you'd got the good bag, you'd got the hunter bag, right? That, that's Back in 2014, that's all there was, right? I don't think you could... I can't remember if you could make an improvised bag or not. I think maybe you could. can't really remember, but... <laughs> the hunter bag was the best one, and other than that, you'd use a, a bag you make yourself. Hey, Sarah. Well, thank you. I'm not. I'm not looking for compliments, but thank you for that one. I appreciate it. Cheers for the kind words. Uh, right. I don't think I've missed anyone. Head T Ball. Thank you for the bits. I'll get to the message in a second. Thank you. Nabberman on tour. Thank you for the prime sub. Uh, Potstar. Keep it up. Long time been watching your vods. Thank you so much for the support. Really, really appreciate it. Potstar. Thank you. Mark Hawthorne. Haworth. Mark Haw Haworth. Sorry, Mark Haworth. Uh, nine months Twitch baby, uh, love your streams. Thank you very much for the Mark Man's Twitch baby, dude. Very, very, very kind. Thank you. Uh, Head T Ball, I must declare that your kind thanks and praise was misplaced as I simply slapped you with my prime. As such, I feel compelled to, to right this injustice by getting my bits out for you too. I happily received those bits with, with both barrels. <laughs> Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you very much, Head T Ball. Thank you. Feel free to slap me with your prime whenever you like. Random. Don't say sorry. It's all good. Uh, Citros. Well, we're on the mouse, so if you're left on the mouse, we're still on that life. Yeah. We've had a hell of a run. We've, we've done killing like you wouldn't believe. I've even hit some shots as well. Not necessarily hard, but shots that I've been missing. <laughs> shots that I would normally be missing have been hitting, and I've been killing dudes left and right. I did, Tristan. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I had a really good run. I got killed by a dude that just played really well, you know. He, he just, he played really well, hit some great shots and I died and he didn't, you know, fair play. Why so 1950s? Uh, it's just, oh, he looks good. It might only be a ghillie. I can't not shoot a ghillie. I don't know if I hit that guy or not. It felt like it was on the shoulder, but I'm not entirely sure. There was another one behind as well. Oh well. Risk it for uh, something I don't need. Biscuit. Alright, I hit him.
Need more knives. Oh. Is he not dead? Sorry about that, dude. Good job I'm better against shooting at Bane's players, really, isn't it? Oh, this has gone remarkably well. Why is it so bad at knocking zombies? It's the fucking spread I already talked about, that's what it is. It's because it's... Exactly what I mean. The fucking spread of this yeah, gun. Of shit. It's horrendous. Get it right. <laughs> it's so bad. And the rigid, the proper shotgun's so much better. Good luck on your adventure. Yeah, you too. Good luck. Good luck, dude. Let me go. I need a bandage. I, th the shotgun is just against zombies. It's not a one-hit kill, even from close range. That's When people talk about the uh, thing, that's maybe why I should be using the slugs, perhaps. But not going to lie, when he started heavy-hitting me, I was thinking we were dead. I did see the grenade, though, which gave me a little bit of hope. Like, I saw him throw the grenade, so I ran the fuck away. Which was kind of good. I, we could have been in serious trouble there. This dude, this mouthy dude, is still alive, and I don't really want to get close to him. Close. For whatever reason, I feel like the melee alone could probably do me. I used the sailing bag, I think. Why is it not shooting? I fired like twice, three times, and nothing fucking happened. I was tapping on the trigger button and nothing was fucking happening. Can't make sure he's dead right now. I'm gonna have more zombie shot. I need to get away. I need to leave. This shotgun's gonna get ruined any second. carrying way too much stuff that I don't actually need right now, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Oh fuck, not good. No, <laughs> fair play, that was a good shot. I'm now dead, he'll get definitely push me before. Just, 
<laughs> what an insane run! Holy fuck, the dude punching me just fucked me over. The guy with the IZH rifle fired well, to be fair. Uh, one thing I did was manage to jump up before he could finish me off, which kind of helped. Like, when you wake up, if you jump, you get onto your feet quicker. So we, we managed to get a chance, but the the spread of the double barrel is just not great. And to be fair, maybe I could have fired a little bit better, but what an intense fucking life that was. That was insane. Like, so we died, so what, you know? That was fucking bad. It was just like a, like... <laughs> a roller coaster of emotions, let's say. <laughs> Fucking hell. No idea where we are. I don't particularly want to go back there. We'll just start afresh and carry on. Whew. It's not stream snipers, no. It's just that area you can spawn there. So if you die, you can kill yourself really easily and spawn there within seconds. So I killed three or four people there when I first got there. And it's my own fault, but the ghillie looked geared, so I killed the geared dude. So fucking what, you know? But I had to get away. I think the mistake I made was going back. And I was going prone in a tree for a fucking cooking pot, you know? I did stay too long, but that's not... That's what I do, you know? I'm always doing that. Sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't, you know? But, uh... Whoa, that was fun. That was really, really...